Hey everybody, it's Alex. Today I've got Shiva, who's back. He's becoming quite a regular now with his awesome native script tips. Today he's back with a productivity tip about using Visual Studio Code and the grid layout. This tip is pretty handy if you've got a lot of rows in your grid layouts, check it out. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna see more tips like this one about Visual Studio Code and productivity tools in general on this channel, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Hi there, Shiva here. Have you ever been in a situation where you were working with a grid layout and then you had these 10 rows and you had to add something in the middle and now you had to update the row numbers of everything below that? We've all been there, right? It's, it's very frustrating. So that is yesterday's problem now because I have a simple solution with which you can easily update the row numbers uh, in one go and let me show you how. So here I have this grid layout and I have uh, seven labels inside it and you see it's all laid out nicely here I'll show you how I created this and let's let's do it label uh, loaded label loaded I'm just uh, creating a random color and setting it as the background color there and row I'll leave it empty now and then say text row and leave it empty there and let's say I'll paste it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And now I use Alt key on my keyboard and place multiple cursors all over here. And I go Command Shift P or Control Shift P on Windows and choose in increment selection. And you see all the row numbers have been typed for me. And that's very useful. And I'll do the same here, increment selection. And just like that, I got all the things. I don't need the seventh row. And yep, as simple as that. Now let's say I want to add a row between it. Let's say I want to insert a row here. Uh, let me first add it to the row definition here. And like that. Now I had to increment all these numbers. So for that, select the same thing like that and go command shift p emit increment by one and that takes care of it for you and go to same thing and emit increment by one so increment selection is different from emit increment by one if you want increment selection then just go to your extension store and search for increment selection and that's the first one here by Alberto Morato and if you install that you get this handy increment selection and emit increment by one or emit decrement by one are all built into VS code so you don't have to install anything for that and uh, there you go folks uh, that's one easy way to increment row numbers or decrement uh, in one go all right, Shiva, thanks a lot. We hope to see you again on this channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Hey, everybody, it's Alex. Today, I got Shiva Prasad, who comes through again. He's sending me a video. You've got to be kidding me.